We want to tune in to your wisdom. You are our source. You are the only source, Jesus. You are the only living source who brings true life. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We love you so much. Make us aware of who you are. Make us aware of who we are in you. We are not unimportant. We are important through you. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, brothers and sisters. It's amazing to see you. And I hope you feel um, joy today and you feel peace today. And if you haven't felt it yet, it is available for you. So I pray for you that you will um, yeah, that you will have joy and rest and you will receive everything you need for this new week. We are going to... Um, talk today about how to be a contagious Christian. I love that subject, don't you? I mean, we are the soul and light of the world. That's what Jesus said. So today we are going to talk about it. Hans de Boer will teach us, so I'm really excited about it. And next to me is Henk and Belinda. They are going to worship with us today. So thank you for joining us. And uh, we are looking forward for what God is going to do through the worship. And I pray that you will feel it right in through your living room. And that you will feel God. That you will feel Jesus and his uh, love for you. He loves you so much. Don't forget to go through to Zoom. Because we love it when you are joining us through Zoom. The description is in YouTube and also in Facebook. And um, when you go to Zoom, you can uh, you are uh, tuning in in ministry time. After Hans de Boer um, uh, finished his, his teaching, then we will go live um, with the ministry time. And uh, if you need some prayer, if you need healing or whatever you need, you can say it to us. You can also mention it in YouTube and in Facebook. Then we will pray for you. So, okay. I hope you have a great time and I'm going to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. Thank you for this new day, this new week. And thank you that you will um, bring us exactly what you need. You know what we need. You know um, where the issues are, where we have problems, where we are scared. And you know it all. You know it all. Our mind cannot understand how big you are. You are in control, whatever the situation is. Thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you that today through worship and through uh, the teaching and the ministry time, that you will go right through it. Into the rooms, into the living rooms. I thank you, Lord, that you will bring hope today. That you will bring faith today. That you will bring um, new life. That you will bring um, refreshed uh, living rooms and refreshed uh, souls, hearts and minds. You are so good. I pray that we will be more and more aware of it. That we are part of this bigger picture. Your picture, not our picture. Your picture is beautiful. Thank you, Lord, that you are the living God. Jesus Christ, you are the only living source. You are the only one who brings life. We love you so much. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Oh, 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 oh. To worship you, 
They know they're safe. Safe by your supervision over them. Thank you, Lord. Mm. 
from the realm of heaven, dreams of you, dreams from heaven. Thank you, Lord, that you will bring us in a new supernatural level of living with you, dreaming with you. Make us more aware of it, Lord. Oh, break, break the heaviness in our heads. Break the mist in our heads. Take it away, Lord. Blow with your wind. Blow with your wind and make our eyes see clear in the name of Jesus. We are looking forward. We are looking forward. Yes. subject what he um, really lives himself so that's those are the most powerful messages isn't it well I bless your heart and um, Hans de Boer come sit with me and um, yeah go for it Thank you. 
one person who is watching us this afternoon and uh, as I was preparing this uh, this afternoon I was praying I, I really sense in the spirit that that you are there sitting there and you just know that something is not right in your life and, and you're walking around and, and in your day-to-day -day life you're actually uh, are afraid of things and you're afraid to step out into things because something is withholding you Break that free in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will go into the room of this, this young man who is afraid, who is really scared on the inside for things, for to do things wrong or to make mistakes or, or, or to really step out into something that you have called him to do. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I, I just walk into that room and I, I want to break down all these chains that are, are holding him down. And I proclaim the freedom of Jesus Christ over your life right now. And I just want to invite you just to stand up and, and in your room, just stand up and just say, I am free. I have freedom because Jesus has delivered me. The chains are gone. The blood of Jesus has cleansed you from every single thing that you have done wrong in the past. And he has cleansed you from every single thing that you will do wrong in the future. You can step out in freedom. You can step out in freedom because that's what he bought for you. That's what he has bought for you. That's what he has given you. So be free in the name of Jesus. Oh, and, and, and as we were singing before and we were singing about the name of Jesus, the powerful, powerful, all-powerful name of Jesus, I was just realizing as well that some people that are with us this afternoon or maybe in the future, they don't know Jesus yet. And for them, the name of Jesus is just a name. But let me tell you, the name of Jesus, this, it, this is so powerful. It's the name above all names. And it's not because of the name, it is because of the person the name was given to. Because he is the king above all kings. He is the Lord above all lords. And he is the one that created you. And he is the one that is holding creation together. And, and, and he is the one, if he wasn't there, you were not existing. But he is also the one that came down from heaven to earth and he saw the mess that we were living in and and he knew that something needed to happen and, and a, a debt needed to pay and by by him dying on the cross he created a way for you and me to walk into eternity and to be a part of this kingdom of, of heaven, the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is a place where every single person wants to be. If you don't want to be in heaven, I actually, I've never met a person that said, I don't want to go to heaven. Because if you do, you're a fool. Let me just, yeah, I'm, I'm just plain here. 
if you don't want to go to heaven, you're a fool. And the only way is through Jesus Christ. And this, this kingdom of heaven is not something that will happen in the future. The kingdom of heaven that is happening now already. And that's the place where, 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 where we are able to follow Christ. And where we are able to uh, um, um, live in the will of the Lord. And that's the place where every single person is accepted. That's the place where you don't need to pretend to be something better than you are. And today Jesus wants to invite you. He is knocking at the door of your heart. And he is inviting you to come in. And, and to say to him, I've messed up in my life. I've made so many mistakes. I've done wrong. I've, I've mistreated people. I've mistreated myself. I've, I've oh, disobeyed you, Lord. But today, I want to live to worship you as we were just singing before. Today, I want to change my life completely around. And I, I want to walk away from all the wrong things. And I want to start walking in this new life, this kingdom life that you have given me. Let me just lead you in the prayer. If this is you this afternoon, just pray with me. Just close your eyes. And it's not, not something magical that's going to happen. It's something spiritual that's going to happen. Because your life is when you, when you pray together with me this afternoon, your life will change. And you will, you will start living a life that you've never lived before. And you will start feeling a life that you all of a sudden realize that you were not alive before. So if this is you, just close your eyes and pray with me. Father in heaven, I want to thank you for your son, Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord, that you've sent your son through this earth to live like we do. And to go through all the things that we went through. And, and that he is the one that created this new way into heaven. As your son says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And this, this way, truth, and life, I want to follow. So, Father, forgive me for everything that I've done wrong. And create me a new heart. Create in me this new life, this new birth that is happening right now. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, Jesus. after you, a heart that is leaning towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If, if this is you, the one advice that I want, or actually I want to give you two advices. The first one is, is start listening to this new voice that you hear in yourself. Start for, and that's called the Holy Spirit. It's the Spirit of the Lord that is leading you and guiding you in all truth. Start listening to that voice and start following that voice and do every single thing that that voice is telling you. Secondly, find a Christian find a church that will help you to start living this new life that will guide you and, and, and they will lead you and they will help you and teach you and show you uh, the new ways that God is actually trying to teach you as well so two things follow the Holy Spirit at all times whatever he tells you to do do so and secondly find other Christians to live your life with amen Amen. Amen. I, I want to speak this afternoon. I'm, I always feel like I'm done already. <laughs> um, but I, I want to I speak about, about something because, you know, being a Christian. Oh, man, being a Christian is so beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain this. I, I just want to read a Bible first. Yeah, and it's, you find it in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. 
and there are the apostle paul and the apostle paul is someone who was um first like he was trying to kill every single christian on this world and then when, when Jesus came and, he, and he, he, he took him up and he said, I want you to follow me. Paul actually turned around completely and he started teaching people in the way of God. Just the, just the biggest change that you can ever see. And from a murderer, from someone who was persecuting Christians into someone who was teaching the people how to live as a Christian. And this is Paul. This is the guy and who, who writes this down. And he says, all praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Wow. Wow. Just, just try to comprehend what he is saying here. Because he is speaking about that we are rich in Christ. Christ has died on the cross for our sins. And he prepared a way for us to go into the kingdom of heaven to be a part of this kingdom. And, and then he says, and when we are part of this kingdom, we have been blessed with all the riches that are in heaven. All the spiritual blessings that God can think of, He actually gave to you. And when God thinks of all the spiritual blessings, you can know that it is every single spiritual blessing that you can think of. And all the blessings is, a, is, is being rich. So within Christ, within this kingdom, we are rich. And I'm, I'm not talking about necessarily money only, but I'm talking about this fullness of life. This fullness of every single thing that you can think of and you have within you. We have all the resources of heaven. And I always think it's funny that, that in heaven, the streets are paved with gold. Yeah, and a place like that, all the resources that are in a place like that are at your hands are at my hands. All these resources are resources that we can use and that has been poured out over us. Not just given, poured out. Remember in Psalm 23 where David says, and he anoints my head with oil and then he starts pouring in a cup with wine and it's overflowing. And that's the same way it is with the spiritual blessings that have been like poured over on us. I one time I, I, I met someone and, and he likes something that I don't like. And I'm sorry about this, but I don't like soccer, football. Yeah, if, if someone starts speaking about football or soccer, I, I, I just zone off. I'm not thinking anymore. I'm, I'm just completely gone. But this guy started speaking about soccer to me. And he was so enthusiastic about the whole thing. He was so feeling so rich because of it that within no time, I actually thought like, eh, maybe I should get a ball. Maybe I should go into the garden and play some football with this guy because it really sounds like a lot of fun. And when we are talking about the, the, the uh, spiritual blessings being poured out on us, you will become a contagious Christian. You will become a person that is like uh, willing and able and, and uh, able to speak about it without boring people. The most boring person, when he start, starts speaking about the spiritual blessings, when you have experienced it, will turn other people into uh, people that want to be part of it. God has poured out all spiritual blessings upon us. All spiritual blessings been poured out upon us. And then he continues in verse 4 and he says, Even before he made the world, God loved us and he chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Oh. Doesn't it make you feel so thankful that someone who knew every single mistake that you made before you made them? That every single fault in your life he already knew and he still decided, I want you to be on this world. 
and even more so, I want my son Jesus Christ to pay the price for you. That's love. That's, that's the deepest love that we can think of. That's the deepest love that we can experience. This is not a guilt trip. It is a, 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 it, it's a love that is being poured out upon you today. You are so loved. You are so loved. You are so loved. And then God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family. He wanted to bring us to himself through Jesus Christ. And this is what he wanted to do. And it gave him great pleasure. It was years ago when I was sitting in the living room. I was still a little, little boy. I was seven years old and I was playing with my toy cars. And as I was, was sitting there playing, I, I heard an engine. And it was the sound of the car of my father. And I jumped up and I ran to the front door. And as, as, as I, as I, I was, was at the door, my father came in and he lifted me up. And he held me in his arms and we walked together to, well actually he walked because he was carrying me. But we walked to the couch and we sat down. And I was sitting on his lap. And I just put my arms around him and I just le was leaning against his chest. And as I was leaning, I could actually listen to his heartbeat. And, and that's how close that God is actually inviting us to come today. That's how close that he wants you to be with him. And that's great pleasure. And I know this is great pleasure when your children sit down on your lap. Because like a few years ago, my youngest daughter... She did exactly the same, except she was not playing with toy cars. She was playing with dolls. And then when I came in, I saw her jumping up and running out of the garden and jumping into my arms. And then she sat down on my lap and she listened to my heartbeat. And she said, Daddy, I can hear your heart. And when I was sitting with my daughter like that, it just filled me with so much joy. It just filled me with so much pleasure that I would have done every single thing with, in this world within my, uh, what I was able to do to experience this. And that's exactly what God has done. And he has done that to create us as a holy people. To create us as a people that have been set apart for him. And, and when you're holy, it means that you're physically pure and you're morally blameless. Physically pure and morally blameless. And that's what God has done with you. So within this, within all these things, his, his blessings have been poured upon us. He invited us in into, into, his, into his living room like we're sitting here today. And then he continued and he invited us to sit on his lap and to listen to his heartbeat. And when you are experiencing all these things, he continues to pour. Because that's not all. That's not all. Because in verse 6 and 7, he says, So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to his dear son, because he is so rich in his kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son Jesus and forgave our sins. Praise is not an internal thing. When, when you praise something, when, when someone gives me a present and I just receive it and I put it aside, that's not, that's not nice and that's not praising it. But when I receive a present and I say, oh my goodness, that's beautiful, thank you, then I actually give praise and a proper thanks to the person that gives me the present. And so often I meet people that say, well, God looks at the heart. Let me just tell you this. When your heart is full with the Lord, your mouth will just flow over. It will just come out with you wanting it or not wanting it. It will just come out. 
praise is not an internal thing. It is something that needs to come out. It is loud. It's extravagant. Rob is, is very good at it. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, maybe you've heard him. Yeah, he doesn't have a microphone, but everyone could hear him, I think. At least here in this area. <laughs> It's extravagant. It's praise. Because it's something that's been given to us and we pour it out to the Father again. And we start praising Him. And when we are praising Him, that's not only through singing, it's not only through worshiping, it's not only through playing the piano, it's not only through speaking, it's not going through, through going to church. It's in all facets of our life. Every single place that we are, we can worship God. With every word we speak, with every deed that we do, we can worship God. And when we live a life of worship, we are living a life that is contagious to other people. Because if someone is able to be contagious about soccer, the God who is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, who actually came down to earth to buy me, to buy my freedom, to give me every single thing I need to pour out every spiritual blessing upon my life. That is way more worth than soccer is. Let's be contagious Christians and let's just praise our Father all the time in every single thing we do. Jesus. 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 I just want to want to pray for, for all of you this afternoon. I, I want to want to lift you up before the Father and I want you to, to experience every single spiritual blessing that the Father has poured upon your life. Because I know that you need to experience it before you're able to go out. And one way that God actually is doing that is by pouring out His Holy Spirit upon your life. And I want, I, I'm going to ask Him to pour out His Spirit upon you today again, or maybe for the first time, just a fresh outpouring. And then you will start feeling, and maybe it's maybe it's like electricity. Maybe it feels like like a warmth or a heat that is coming over you. Some people start laughing. Some, and it's all like an experience, and it's your body responding to the spirit of the Lord. Let's let's just pray. Yeah, maybe you wanna wanna stand up. Maybe maybe you want to raise your hands. Maybe it's good to stand like this, like you're receiving a big present, because it is a big present. Every spiritual blessing will be poured upon your life today. Let's receive that. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before your throne with every brother and sister that is that is sitting uh, and, and watching this, this, uh, this video. And, Father, I thank you that you are outside of time, so it doesn't matter when you're watching, this is for you. Father, I thank you. I thank you that you've poured out your Holy Spirit 2,000 years ago. And that your Holy Spirit is part of this world and is part of all the work that you are doing at this moment. And I want to pray, Father, for my brothers and sisters. And I, I, I just say to you, receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive Him and allow Him to do whatever He needs to do. Allow Him to do whatever He needs to do. Do not withhold do not stop him. Do not stop him. Let him do what he needs to do. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And maybe you feel like words coming out that you've never heard before. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it happen. Let it happen. And I, I just feel now and I, I just hear the Holy Spirit say that at this moment when the Holy Spirit is being poured out in all these living rooms, that people are actually being healed. And I see someone uh, touching his knee and you're, you're rubbing over your knee right now. And I just proclaim healing over your knee. In the name of Jesus, be healed. God wants to touch you. The Lord wants to touch you. 
Jesus, Jesus. And I just see a few headaches actually disappear as well. Come on. Jesus. Jesus. Every headache be gone in the name of Jesus right now. Every headache is gone and all the pain is gone and every source of this pain. We command you to leave this body. Be healed in Jesus' name. Even if there's emotionally or there's stress in your life, whatever uh, causes you to have headache, we just command everything to be in line with what God has for you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Wow, oh, Hans, anything else? What is on your heart like to pray for? Like in general, maybe other words from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I, I thank you for revealing to us what is what is going on in our minds. Jesus. Thank you that you're revealing to us what what the things that you want to set right, Father. And when the Holy Spirit is speaking to you at this moment, I, I, I just um, want to give you the opportunity to listen to Him and to, to make everything right. Yeah, the Spirit is leading in all truth and it's the kindness of the Lord that is leading us to repentance. Yes, so we, we will just like let me sing a song. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just sing a song and I will just uh, we just need some time to change the camera because we also want to pray for uh, for people in our Zoom mm -hmm. uh, yeah. call because we have people connected with us through Zoom on this camera. So uh, yes, we are so happy to have you with us. So in a minute after that, we just uh, lift up our voice in worship. We will just have uh, the banner. Um, uh, showed and then we just after a few seconds please stay with us because the worship is continuing stay with us and then after that you will find uh, Hans uh, next to the big screen to uh, pray over people through Zoom so if you want to join us if you need prayer like personally please find the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook find the description in the description there's a Zoom link and you can just join us right now we take some time to change the, the camera uh, in this uh, living room setting so uh, we come back to you
and sand we cry worthy is the Lamb all the honor and the glory we sing holy is the one on the Thank you for everyone who actually joined in on the Zoom call as well. And um, because you're in here, I assume that you are uh, needing prayer and that you're longing for prayer. So I, I want to I want to start praying for you. Um, who wants to go first? Let me just say see a show of hands. Uh, let's uh, let's pray for Johnny then. Yeah. Hi, Johnny. Can you hear me, Johnny? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me pray for you. And maybe uh, maybe the Lord will give me a word for you as well today. Yeah. Yeah. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I I pray for my brother Johnny. Father, thank you that he is reaching out to you and that he is longing for you to come and be his healer. So in the name of Jesus, I, I, I just pour out the, the, the blood of Jesus upon your life and into your body. And Father, thank you that we, can, that we know that your blood is cleansing everyone. And that your blood is actually cleansing not only our sins and it's not cleansing our spiritual needs only, but it will also cleanse our physical needs. So I pray for the physical needs that Johnny has it right now. And I pray your, your, the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, upon his life, upon his body. Jesus. I curse the cancer that is in your body. I curse the cancer that is within your body. And in the name of Jesus, I tell you to go away. In the name of Jesus, be gone. And I, I just curse you. Be gone. Go back to hell where you belong because you don't belong on my brother. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will just pour out your spirit upon him more and more. Renew him. Renew his life. Renew his body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. Jesus. 
I, I really feel, Johnny, that the Lord wants to say to you that this is not your fault. That God is not angry with you. Yeah, God, God loves you dearly. And, and, and the moments that you're actually crying, that he is crying with you. And, and I, I just see the name of Jesus actually written over your life. He says, in, in, in that way, he actually says, I identify myself with you. It's, it's not something that he is distancing himself from. You are not someone that he is distancing himself from. He is someone who comes near and he says, my name is written on your forehead. I identify with you. I am your identity. Father, I pray that you will just come more. That you will pour out more upon Johnny's life. And I pray full restoration. Physically and emotionally. Full restoration, Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you, Johnny. God bless you. Daniela, can I pray for you? Aniela? Hi, yes. Yes? Is there, is there a special prayer request that you have, or is it... Just pray for that. Yeah, I'm gonna lay my hands on your on your forehead. <sighs> Father, I lift up my sister before you. I first pray for the for the spiritual blessings upon her life. I pray, Father, that you will come with your healing power and that you will restore what is uh, emotionally broken right now. Father, I pray against the, the, the pain in her soul, the things that she's changed and the things that have been changed on behalf of others. So in the name of Jesus, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will come and that you will be the comforter that you are called. Daniela will just experience you like she's never experienced before. Father, give her comfort. Full restoration in her soul. Jesus. Jesus, more of you, Lord. More of you, Lord. I pray for her hand as well, her arm as well, Father. I pray for the um, the pain that she's still experiencing and the, and the process, the healing process that she's going through. And I pray for a miracle of healing. Father, we don't want to wait for a process of healing that will to, will happen. We just, we, we want to see a miracle today, Father. So Holy Spirit, just come and fill every fiber of her body, every fiber of her arm, so that she will experience the resurrection and the healing power of our Lord Jesus through you. Father, I want to thank you already for the testimonies that we will hear from Aniela. The testimony of healing, 
the testimony of restoration and that everything will be restored again in the name of Jesus. I already see it happening with my spiritual eyes and it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. So Ian, Ian, I would like to pray for you as well. Amen. Amen. Can I can I just pray for you because I really sense something that the Holy Spirit wants to do. Yes, yes, amen, amen. Uh, hmm. Father, I, I, I just sense that this background is like a, a prophetic, prophetic thing. Father, I pray that you will just lead Ian in green pastures. Father, that, that the things that are, are just bothering him in life at this moment will not make any sense anymore because he is laying down in green pastures together with you and that you are just leading him there and that you lead him besides waters and that he will be sitting there enjoying the water and, the, and, and every single thing that you're giving him. Father, I thank you for, for the, the, the cup that you are actually pouring out for him right now a cup of blessing and that every single thing that has been taken away from me and that will be restored to him again so in the name of Jesus I, I prayed it over your life and I, I, I see within yeah I actually I see you standing as a tree along the riverside and I don't think it is something that's going to happen in the future I think it is something that is happening now already you are standing like a tree on the water side. You are the wise man that Psalm 1 is talking about. You are not walking in the counsel of the wicked. You are walking just in the laws of the Lord. You will love and delight the law of the Lord. And the Lord is pleased with you. The Lord is pleased with you. So Father, I pray, pray a blessing upon Ian's life. And every single person that is with him, every single person that is around him, that is related to him, that they will just experience the blessing that you have poured out upon Ian, and it will just continue to pour over and over and over on other people as well. So in the name of Jesus, Ian, be blessed. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Yeah. So, so Ian was just, uh, just explaining that, um, the, the things that we prayed for within, within the spirit that, it, that they were spot on, um, that he was just like, uh, and, 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 yeah, every, every single thing that we said was, was a part of his life. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that testimony. And thank you for that. Thank you. Um, prayer tower wow that sounds sounds cool let's go to the prayer tower he said there's no video can you can you start the video please in the prayer tower <laughs> yeah
Yeah, well, yeah, let's go for Reggie first then. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, Father, I, I thank you for Reggie. Father, I thank you that you've placed upon his life a calling that is beyond anything that he has ever dreamt of. Hmm. I, just, I just see the word hope just, just coming in and out on the screen. It's because it's on your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's not prophetically, but it is actually, I think. Uh, because you, you are a person that will bring hope to so many people. In the name of Jesus. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hope released. Hope released. Oh, man, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah, so oh, let's just continue and, and, and release that more. So, Father, I, I pray that through Reggie, hope will be released in every single place, in every single town, every house that he will enter, that hope will be released. And every person that he touches, every person that he prays for, that he speaks with, every uh, 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 even when he sits in the train, that every single person in the, in the train will be touched by the hope that is living within Reggie. Man, you are a powerhouse. So, Father, I just pray for more of the Spirit upon him. In the name of Jesus, be blessed and be filled with the Spirit. And just start leaking Jesus all over, man. Just start leaking him all over. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow. 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 So, Father, I thank you that you were here today. I thank you, Father, that you were, were speaking through us, that you were speaking into our hearts and into our lives. Father, I thank you for the miracles that will happen. I thank you for the miracles that have happened. And above all, I want to thank you for these richest blessings all the spiritual blessings from the heavenly realms that you have poured out upon us. Amen. So everyone, in the name of Jesus, I bless you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Sing praises to your name, oh Lord, praises to your name, oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to 